Malaysia is a multiracial, multi-religious and multi-ethnic society. A part of the three main races of Malays, Chinese and Indians, there are also indigenous people in Peninsular Malaysia who are orang asli. The state of Sabah has 32 ethnic groups in majority, while the population of Sarawak consists of 27 ethnic groups. This is not counted in the extra nations such as Pina, Patani, Bugis, Champa and a lot to be named. Each of these races and ethnicities has its own heritage and culture. Have you heard about the Baralit ceremony, Chenoy Tapin, Momohizan, folk tales, cuisines, traditional music, dances and martial arts that belongs to each ethnic? I bet most of us are clueless about it. How about the tangible heritage such as artifacts, buildings and monuments that have historical and cultural values? Do you have any idea where it is located, how it's looked like and the stories behind it. So how we are going to tell our future generations if we ourselves are clueless and couldn't get the right information. These heritages might become lost and extinct without any effort in preserving and safeguarding due to modernization, assimilation and globalization. Therefore, I would like to share my research topic entitled Digital Humanities Prospect for Knowledge Transfer in Perpetuation of Cultural Heritage. The field of digital humanities has piqued people curiosities across the globe. Collaboration between humanistic research and interdisciplinary studies in the sphere of information science and technology has resulted in insightful findings. The creation of a knowledge transfer program for digital humanities in cultural heritage area is becoming a high priority. Lack of cultural heritage digitization plan, policies, governance model, financial sustainability, technology dependencies and obsolescence, data accessibility and usability are just a few of the issues that must be addressed. For this reason, this research is combining the use of knowledge transfer model, technology adoption model and triangulation model in cultural heritage. It is an initiative to sustain essential heritage elements intended to develop a model to bring together the tacit dimension of a knowledge but also contain technical aspects of digital communities as well as appreciating the prices values of cultural heritage. This study acquired mixed methods among 50 to 100 respondents of professionals related to Ministry of Tourism and Arts and Culture Malaysia, which is more to estimate the causal effect relationship among multiple and interrelated variables. The results will highlight inclusion criteria in proposing the theoretical framework for the research design. To end my speech, there's a beautiful quote saying that Crucial differences which distinguish human beings are not biological. We do not grow feathers, but we have our beautiful cultural diversities that elevate the hearts and soul of its people. Love your culture and don't forget your roots. Thank you.